drip it, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and I'm giddy up. Secure the bag and I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drip, yeah, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and I'm giddy up. Secure the bag and I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up. Ooh, I'm a real one, my day one. Try to speak up, can't say nothing. Try to dig dirt, there ain't nothing. I'll make the money that saves up. 10, 10, 80, my savers. Vielleicht, dass so viele Leute hier sind, aber irgendwie bin ich auch angenehm überrascht. Hallo an euch natürlich und auch hallo an euch da draußen im Stream. Wir sind jetzt hier beim meinem persönlichen absoluten Favorite der vier Tage, dem visuell imposantesten Punkt, dem Cosplay Contest. Und weil ich jemand bin, der zwar gute Augen hat und gut gucken kann und sagen kann, gefällt mir, kenne ich, kenne ich nicht, wer bist du? Kann man machen, aber ich brauche natürlich tatkräftige Unterstützung. Deswegen habe ich es mir gedacht, ich lade jemanden ein, der seit Jahren damit Erfahrung hat und der vor allem auch in, äh, im internationalen Kontext damit wirklich schon gearbeitet hat. Und deswegen einen großen Applaus bitte für Alan, Just Legend Alan Peterson. No legend Alan, I'm sorry. Good to be here. Good to be on another DreamHack stage. It is wonderful to be here in Hanover. Hello everybody. Wir haben das Ganze jetzt auf Englisch geswitcht. Für alle, die damit ein Problem haben, sucht euch einfach die nächst kompetente Person neben euch. Und dann immer so, ihr kriegt das hin. Ich vertraue euch. Wenn es Probleme gibt, kommt er einfach nach vorne an die Bühne und sagt so, was, da kannst du noch mal ganz kurz übersetzen und wir regeln das irgendwie. Wir kriegen das hin. Alan. What he said. What he said. Absolutely what he said. Nice of you. I just explained to them that we're going to do the whole thing in English because the whole international context and so on and so forth. We do have some amazing international people here for us today. One of the reasons why we turned this whole thing into an international broadcast. Ellen, who are you and what brings you to the stage? Uh, back in 2014 we started doing cosplay in Sweden, the original country for a dream hack in the world. And uh, we were contacted by the lovely people here in Hanover that wanted to do some really cool cosplay. And it's uh, turned out to be really, really amazing. What I know about you is that you also started out as a cosplayer. And then at some point you were like, you know what? This event does not work as good as intended. Maybe I just start my own show. Like, if you want to ever do anything at events, just start doing them. In 2006, I cosplayed. I was asked to help out, and I am now doing this. So it's been a long career of uh, having fun on stages and doing some really, really awesome things. So if you ever want to get started with cosplay, feel free to hit us up at the Cosplay Village, and we'll tell you how you can just get going. Easy, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. We not only need someone who knows this stuff, we need people that know even more stuff because you're more on the organizing side, but we need people that actually are doing the craft that are living and breathing cosplay. So we have some wonderful international judges for you who will obviously judge this cosplay contest. But as such, we just want to explain to you, the wonderful audience, first of all, thank you all for coming. You guys look like you are an insane crowd. So a big round of applause to you guys for making here on time. Thank you very much. Very German trait, being on time. Yeah. And nobody here, one minute before, whoosh. So for all of you that are wondering what's going to be happening in, we're going to be introducing judges. Their job is to represent the absolute best in cosplay skills and making. They have the job to look at all the cosplayers beforehand to decide what the kind of things they're going to value when everyone's competing. We have some different categories and stuff, we'll cover that later, but I think it's time to introduce some the people. The very, very first judge. And for die, we're going to talk a little bit about Germany, that can really say it's a bit of our stolz as cosplay standort Deutschland. So, a very, very big applause for Kamui Cosplay! Dass du den Weg hergefunden hast. An dir kommt man ja eigentlich auch in der deutschen Cosplay-Szene eigentlich. Also man muss dir nicht mal auf Instagram folgen, um deinen Content auf Instagram zu sehen. Ja, ich sag mal so, wir sind noch ziemlich fleißig auf allen Kanälen auf Social Media. SEO-Regel auf jeden Fall. Ja, ja. Ganz kurze Frage an dich. Du bist ja wahrscheinlich prinzipiell 24-7 damit beschäftigt, entweder Cosplays zu bauen, vielleicht mal kurz zu schlafen oder sowas hier zu machen. Man kommt ja gar nicht hinterher. Du hast ja wahrscheinlich ein ewig. Ich weiß, ich habe Backlog an drei Millionen Spielen, die ich spielen muss. Du hast einen Backlog an genauso vielen Cosplays. 
Jedes Jahr kommen neue Spiele raus, jedes Jahr kommen neue Animes raus, neue Filme. Ja. Hast du jetzt schon so eine Liste, wo du sagst, daran würde ich gerne arbeiten? Dinge, die dieses Jahr rausgekommen sind, die ich aber nächstes Jahr gerne oder in der Zukunft irgendwann mal bauen würde? Oh, also da gibt es eigentlich viel zu viel. Also ich muss sagen, Horizon war ja mega, mega gut. Ne? Da muss ich mal schauen, ob ich da was mache. Genshin Impact, da kommen einfach so viele neue Charaktere raus. Alter. Und ich bin ein riesen Fan, spiele jeden Tag. Und äh, auch wenn es noch nicht draußen ist, ich freue mich sehr auf Diablo 4. Ja. Ich freue ich freu mich sehr auf Diablo 4 dabei, ja. und auf deine Cosplays zu Diablo 4. Ja, ich mich auch. Ich hoffe, ich kriege die fertig irgendwann. Da notfalls bei Diablo 5. Also ich meine, du kannst ja dann zum Start von Diablo 5 nochmal so Retrospektiv quasi, ne? Genau so. So, Kamui Cosplay, vielen Dank dafür. Dankeschön, vielen, vielen jetzt Dank. Und wird's international. So, without further ado, we also have guests here from uh, the Czech Republic. We have decided to go with judges that complement each other's skills. And uh, we have not one, but two fantastic guests from the Czech Republic. We'd like to invite on stage Ali Cosplay and Props and Ketchin Cosplay. So, as such, we are going to be switching a little bit the language towards English now. If anybody has friends that can translate, good luck. Please do so. Please do so. Good, good luck. luck. Uh, cosplay is a very intricate world. But uh, Ali and Katrin, you are all the way here from uh, a very far away place. It has been amazing to have you here. You are, of course, looking absolutely stunning as always. I just wanted to ask you, what did you think when you got here to the contest today about the contestants? Like, what are your expectations when you came? And how did it feel to look at all these awesome cosplays uh, throughout the competition? So basically, I was so surprised that there are so many cosplayers because it's not very usual to, to have such a huge amount of great crafters and great, great sewing masters. And when I saw all these amazing cosplayers, I was just blown away. Just really the quality here is so high and we were judging like many cosplay competitions, but here it was very tough to decide. I can imagine. Usually we would expect you guys to have a little bit more of a interesting time uh, judging everything. You've also been cosplaying, you've also been in your booth, which you can always meet them at their booth in the cosplay village later on if you want to say hi or take a picture. I just wanted to ask you one final question before we get on to the last judge. Are you guys content with everything you've seen here today on the, you know, the contestants happy? Are you guys looking forward to, do you feel confident about your answers today? Well, of course, we, we did enjoy all the, all the things and had very tough time about uh, deliberating who's the best and yeah. I think with all the experience and all the great help from our coaches, uh, we did a great job and like really tried to figure out all the techniques and everything that went into the competition and we tried to do our best to like judge this. Yeah. Uh, I have to add though, like we, uh, we had like so many amazing contestants, like every single one of them was absolutely amazing and it was just awesome to judge everyone. So please a big applause for already all the contestants. <laughs> We are hoping that we keep that going every time they come up on stage. As such, I think it is time to move on to our final international judge. All the way from Switzerland, and also potentially Vietnam, we have Yuji Koi. Oh no, it happens. So, Yuji, welcome to uh, GMAC Hanover 2022. Yes, so, uh, hello everyone, my name is Yuji. I'm a Vietnamese cosplayer, but I'm currently living in Switzerland. So I've been to Germany so many times, but this is my first time in Hanover, and I have to say that it's super freaking cold. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I really enjoy my time here, and uh, yeah, my first time in GMAC Hanover. And I have been judging with all these beautiful people here and all the costumes is super amazing and I bet you guys cannot wait for all their catwalks and costume and performance. Yuji takes the words right out of my mouth. With that said, 
I think it's time. I think it's time for you to leave the stage and have a seat at the beautiful table, front row seats, the best seats in the house. Obviously, you guys have already. You can just leave the stage on side. Yes, thank you. Um, obviously, they have already seen some of the costumes. They have been some pre-judging. I mean, we had more entries than we. Had. Excuse me. Excuse me again. Um, we have we obviously had more entries than we have space or slots on the stage. So not everyone that entered the competition made it onto the stage and can catwalk today. Doesn't mean they didn't do a great job, as they mentioned before. All of the cosplays are on an equally high level, and I really don't want to know how it feels to actually pick and choose some of the winners. That's why we pick judges, otherwise we would die of stress. Actually true. As such, we also want to say that with the cosplayers that we had here today, we also had an additional huge amount of sign-ups, which is a really good sign that in six months' time, when we have the next Dream I Can over, we're going to have an intense and more crazy show, so we're going to be expanding probably a little bit on the content side. And with that, we just want to go through probably what you guys are all expecting to hear. What are the prizes for the show? So, yeah, as money. such, we have some categories and rules that we want to go through so you guys all understand what is going on, as the cosplayers do know. So, I think without further ado, let's explain let's the category. The, yeah, with the first category. The first category being the judge favorites, hopefully. Yes, the judge favorites. So, each of our judges, four in total, but we made it into three because two of them are a group. Each of them have picked their personal, uh, yeah, their personal favorite. Not taking into account all too many things, just more of a gut feeling. Whichever they thought they liked best is a judge favorite, and a judge favorite is also awarded with 100 euros per winner. Yes, and then we're moving on into the next category, and that will be best prop. The best prop is the 500 euro prize, which goes to the cosplayer that creates the best prop or addition to their cosplay that helps build it up and showcase the character that they've made. It can be an external prop or it can be something that they are wearing. So it's going to be really awesome to see what they have made for the best prop category. Obviously we also want to encourage new people getting into cosplay. So we got a category called the newcomer. The newcomer will be awarded with 200 euros. The newcomers basically because every single year we want to celebrate all of those that are getting up for the first time and want to try out a stage performance and we always want to celebrate people getting into cosplay as it seems like it's growing and growing and growing. Next category would be IRL in real life meaning whoever looked the most original or the most detailed the most true to the character will be rewarded with a whopping price of 500 euros. So whoever had maybe the most fitting facial features even, the perfect height, the perfect eye color. Something that brought the character to life in the real world is what we're looking for. The judges have been asked to just pick the person that actually exudes the character. When you look at them, you go, oh damn, it's him it's or her. Oh my God, it's actually that character. It is them. And uh, for the last category, we have the main, most important category, it's best craft. Taking into consideration all the things that go into a great cosplay, all the mechanics you need to, all the skills you need to learn. And we are going to have two run-ups, we're going to have a third and a second prize, uh, second place. Third place is going to be rewarded with 500 euros, the second place is going to go home with 1000 euros, and the first place is going to be going home with 1500 euros. One of the biggest prize pools that we've had in a while, which is great. And the reason we want to reward these people is because best craft is probably the hardest of the categories also for the judges to deliberate on because they're judging based on all the aspects that go into a cosplay and is a creative and artistic hobby that is very difficult. What art is better depends on who you are. But our judges are looking at everyone here on stage comparative to each other and picking the people that have used different techniques or at different levels. It is a very, 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 very hard thing to do. But we all agree with our judges, especially with Kamui's words, that everyone has done such an amazing job and they're all super fantastic. It's just very high level and very like up the top. We have to see what's going on. And uh, now, not without further ado, there's one more little ado we do. Before we keep, uh, before we can get our contestants onto the stage, just a tiny little bit of cosplay etiquette we would like to teach you guys out there. Yeah, so I'm going to do it in English and... and we're going to do it in English and because it's really important, I'm going to do it in German as well. And we just want to do this because this is the first time we're here in Hanover. If you see a cosplayer and you want to take a picture with them, don't grab onto their cosplay to turn them around. They're very fragile. They might look like armor, but they're made from pizza boxes. Potentially. Try to make eye contact with the cosplayer and ask them calmly, is it okay if I take a picture? 
We just want to make sure that not only you're safe, but our cosplayers' costumes are also safe at the event. If you want to hang out and see more cosplayers, we will also be over at the Cosplay Village where you can check out all of the cosplayers. So hopefully, a little bit of cosplay etiquette. Try to make sure you respect them. They put thousands of hours and thousands of euros into their costumes. Und deswegen auch nochmal ganz kurz auf Deutsch für die, die das jetzt vielleicht gerade nicht verstanden haben. Cosplayer sind auch nur Menschen, das heißt Leute, die ein Cosplay sehen und ihr wollt unbedingt ein Foto machen. Nicht unbedingt, das macht man auch bei normalen Leuten, nicht an der Schulter greifen, nicht irgendwo anfassen. Das sieht vielleicht stabil aus, aber das ist alles zum Teil sehr, sehr fragil. Das heißt, hingehen, vielleicht davor stellen, sagen, hey, dein Cosplay ist cool, können wir vielleicht ein Foto zusammen machen? Dabei ein bisschen Augenkontakt, also einfach so menschliche, normale Etikette. Ich glaube, das kriegt ihr alle hin. Und wenn ihr Bock auf mehr Cosplay habt, da drüben ist das Cosplay Village, da werdet ihr bestimmt auch einige unserer Contestants und natürlich auch die Judges nochmal sehen. Das heißt, äh, ja, jetzt wisst ihr, wie es geht. Auf die Bühne könnt ihr eh nicht, deswegen da sind unsere Contestants safe. And now we can finally start. So, without further ado, are you guys all ready to see some cosplay? That was pretty weak, though. Yeah. It's always the second, it's never the first one. Are you guys ready to see some cosplay? There you go. There you go. Thank you so much for coming, and let's enjoy the show. Cosplaying Little Legend Azure Palomar from Team Fight Tactics. A big round of applause for Natsuku. We 
we've got Yayo Cosplay, cosplaying as Link from Legend of Zelda, Link to the Past.
happy and bubbling personality. A huge round of applause for Leo. Thank you, Leo. If you're a fan of Fallout and Wastelands, you'll love Roma Muerta, cosplaying a Wasteland Raider from either Fallout or the Metro 2033 universe. This is a gentleman you do not mess with. Round of applause for Ropa Huerta! Thank you, Ropa Huerta! And next up, we've got Roxar Lee's cosplay, cosplaying as Grant from Assassin's Creed Valhalla! Before we had a heavy raider, or a wasteland raider, now we have a heavy raider. Introducing Longback's cosplay from the Fallout universe. That is one magnificent anchor axe battle smasher thing. If you love Fallout, you'll love our next contestant, introducing Snowball Creations as Legatlanius from Fallout New Vegas. Unbiasedly, probably the best Fallout series.
Heads up, we have Brewster cosplaying as Pyrrhus Mistood, Mistood from the Atelier Pyrrhus, the Alchemist and the Mysterious Journey. Next up we have Sulia cosplaying as Gwen from League of Legends. A huge round of applause for Sulia. That's always for sure in season two. She will cue you and you will be gone. Thank you, Sumikos. Next up, we have Socrates Cosplays as Son Goku Ultra Instinct. From the series Dragon Ball Super. I can guarantee you there are a lot of childhoods out there that know exactly who this man is. That are feeling a touch old today, just like me. Huge round of applause to our Socrates! Next up we have Layla Cosplay, cosplaying the Atlantic Mercy skin from Overwatch.
picking up your litter. We'll conclude our contestants for this evening, but you shouldn't leave yet because we're going to get them all back on stage after a quick word. Did you enjoy the show? TV and you can be like, oh, that looks awesome. I mean, you were looking at the TV. I was looking at the people right in front of me. Like, I was just standing I there. Would just, like this. They would just walk past me and be like, okay, cool. Nice. Okay, thank you. It is what it is. It is what it is. You had to work and I could do some leisure, leisure watching. You mean just like looking? Yeah, I leisure everyone's watching. everyone's looking. But like from, you know, close distance. All right. Yeah. I could almost it's touch them, but I didn't because, you know, cosplay etiquette. Yes. You never touch the cosplayers unless they, like, you ask and they say, it's cool. I think it's, it's a general thing. Don't touch people unless you ask for consent. Doesn't matter if they're glowing or in armor or without armor. Just ask. It's like being a human. It's cool. Awesome. Wow. <laughs> well, as such, you guys saw some amazing cosplays, did you not? I think we can do better. All the cosplayers are standing right backstage right now. Did you see some amazing cosplays today? A hundred percent. Just for you guys that are, uh, you know, noobs to the cosplay scene, I'm just going to explain that now our judges are finishing their deliberations, which is a lot of discussion and, you know, what they need to do to make sure they pick the right categories, contestants, and winners. It's going to be taking a little bit of time, but we don't want to leave you guys empty-handed. So we're just going to go quickly over the categories. Each of our judges is going to pick a judge favorite for a hundred euros. They're going to be picking the newcomer who is a uh, recently joined cosplayer into the scene where they will be given around 200 euros in prize they gotta pick the best prop which does not have to be a weapon it can be something that is included into your armor just anything that is additional to your cosplay that will be awarded 500 euros as well as the best IRL cosplay so a cosplay that brought the character to life the most also awarded with 500 euros and the biggest or at least most prize worthy category gonna be the craft category where all the skills needed to hone a perfect cosplay will be combined and we're gonna have a third, a second and obviously first place. The third place is gonna go home with as well 500 euros, second place a whopping 1000 euros and if you combine the both of them it's 1.5k euros for the first place in Bast Craft. One of the awesomest prize pools ever, we're so happy to be able to have done this here at Dream Act Hanover. It was uh, wonderful when someone said on stage, this was her first Dream Egg Hanover. I think we've all had that experience here today. It's not going to be the last. In six months' time, around there, I'm not very good with calendars, we will be having Dream Egg Hanover again. So please do follow everything on social media if you love what's going on here now today, this weekend, this end of year. Because in summer we will be returning and we want you guys to help give us feedback on what you want. Anything you need, the social media account holder for all the accounts will love it. If you just write what you want, she'll go through everything. And maybe they can do it in like a nice fashion, nice and orderly, you know. Like with the cosplayers, be gentle, be friendly. Could I please, sir, could I please have one more cosplay? Y'all got any more of these cosplays? No, do we, we have more than, more than one. Play the same set again! If you look around, you will also see there are cosplayers up the sides. They will also be hanging out in the cosplay village afterwards. But none of this could be done without sponsors. Sponsors are what make the world go round, and it's also the people that make sure they can safeguard everything that we do. So we would also love to give a good thanks to the people you see behind me and on stage. Got to me are the people from the Schwarzkopf company that have made sure that we can help out doing this. And a huge round of applause to them because they believe in cosplay and they believe in everything that we're going to be doing in the future. So thanks to our sponsors for the Dream Act Hanover Cosplay Championship. For making that possible. For making it possible. Literally making that possible without them. This would look a whole lot different. A lot of card work. I mean the cosplays would still look great, but maybe it'd look great somewhere else and not here. But you guys want to see the cosplayers again? Do you think they want to see them? Nah. 
Do you want to see the Cosmeers again? Wait. Wait. That's still not good enough, is it? I mean, the thing is, almost we can't hear you. The cosplayers are all the way backstage, so they can't hear you. They don't have in-ear thingies that tell them to come out, so they're gonna need your audio feedback to actually know that they're wanted out here. So do you want to see all of our contestants again? <laughs> there we go, that's good. Without further ado, we would like to uh, reintroduce all of our fantastic Oh, I thought you got to do like a double time thing. We just, I mean, just started like something. All, all, of, all of our fantastic cosplay contestants on stage. Period. <laughs> I'm usually like a jogging sweatpants and shirt guy. I dressed up with a button-up today and I still feel underdressed. I think everybody feels underdressed when they're looking at this stage. A big round of applause for all of our cosplay contestants here for the first ever Dream Act Hanover Cosplay Championship. I feel like they look even better now. It's this, this effect where you have like one pretty person. And then you put like a, another pretty person to, next to them, like it just multiplies, exponentially grows. It grows. It's I mean, we have here some amazing contestants as we uh, wait for our judges to finish the deliberation and give us a little bit of a heads up. We will try to let you guys enjoy a little bit of the vibe, so please do take some pictures of the cosplayers on stage. Remember, they will be at the side afterwards. But we're all looking forward to seeing what's going to happen here and how it's going to turn out. The judges have already spent several hours today looking at it and they've also tried to get as close to it as they could. They spend their time now delivering in the last aspect. But as such, I think there is one cosplayer that I'd like to invite on stage because he represents everything that's perfect about copyright infringement, but really not because everybody loves him. Could I get the blue hip hop stormtrooper to join us here mid stage? The people at Disney going crazy about this. And Adidas and probably a whole bunch of other places. But they allow it because it's just so damn awesome. So, uh, without further ado, we have one of the most silent and awesome people here. He's got bling here, left, right, center. And he has a ghetto blaster that actually works, which is amazing. There's, an ox, there's an actually an ox cable here. Oh, wow. <laughs> If there's any people from GEMA in the audience, just la 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 la, thank you. So not only do cosplayers uh, do amazing costume work as you see here, they also do amazing technical work. Some of the stuff they can do puts most engineers at NASA to shame. And they're probably working at SpaceX and on the side they're probably also cosplayers. They also do have to have like at least a little bit of the ability to act because you look like someone who would miss every single shot. You, you give off, you know, that special vibe of passing me something and just dropping it right in front of my head. So, in an expressionist art form, would you say the show has gone good today? Real good. Amazing. So, uh, your voice box, does it work real good? What? So, we can hear you through a voice box. Do you have anything to say to this wonderful audience? The best audience since years. He loves you all. All right, we will let you join back into the center circle. That's even why they can't a, even has a Walkman on it. It's really retro, though. Yeah, he's got everything he needs. It actually, has Sony Walkman. There you go. Without further ado, when our judges are ready, they will join us here up on stage. And just so our contestants know, we'll be judging people from judge favorite all the way up through to first place in craft. 
every single person that wins will be brought up here in the middle with the judges and they will be deliberating, telling them how they have done it well and then they will return to the line and after such we will get through all the winners. Are you excited to find out who the winners are? First prize, Simon Dirk. That reminds me of the one time that I was actually invited to be a judge on a cosplay contest at Saint last year's, I think it was like Gamescom 2021 and it was me and it was small cosplay and here's Andy, I, I think you know these guys and I was sitting there completely overwhelmed, not knowing these guys were like going hard at it, arguing I was like yeah yeah they, they all look pretty good like I'm impressed I'm a guy, I hate crafts and arts that was my only C in school Everything you hate else, arts? I'm a, I'm that's the only tattoo you have on your arm Arts and crafts, you know, the whole oh, doing it. scissors, glues, and all that kind of stuff. I'm really bad, maybe I love it, but I hate doing it because I'm really, really bad at it. So it's so nice to see that there's people outside, you know, that can actually so, pull off some amazing work. Yeah, well, nothing compares to these lovely, lovely people. As such, are we uh, through and through? We good? We feel good? Ladies and gentlemen, would you please give a wonderful round of applause for our panel of judges, Kamui, Ali Cosplay and Props, Ketrin Cosplay, and Yuji Koi, as they, say, as they work hard to get everything sorted. Please join us up on stage, where they will be taking the microphones away from us, and they will be deliberating the winners here for the GMAC Hanover Cosplay Championship. Slide two, slide, slide. slide. We're all learning. I've, I've heard worse. I've said it worse and I've made it Germany, you know? A big round of applause for our judges! And with that, I think uh, I will let you take over here and I will prepare for... Are you going to get the prizes? The prizes and the awards. So that... Uh, I don't even know. Did that take quite a long while, or was it like a normal, normal amount of time you guys needed to figure out who's the winner of all these five categories? I mean, it was quite stressful. We have to admit, uh, there were plenty of absolutely amazing participants. Like I said, everyone is absolutely amazing. Everyone is absolutely amazing. But like finding the best is always so challenging. And yeah, I hope we can make plenty of people happy today. <laughs> Yuji, how much of your personal preference when it comes to games or franchises do you put into your consideration of who's the winner? Well, um, actually none. I mean, um, when it yes. comes to competition and cosplay, you should keep yourself transparent and put your personal opinion or preference aside from the craftsmanship or how the performance of the contestant is. Yeah, so yeah, you have to be fair. Sounds fair. Would be the only acceptable answer, actually. But I think we should pass the word on to the judges and let them get down to what we're all waiting for. Let's find out who the winners are for the DreamHack Hanover Cosway Championship. So we actually start with our judges awards, and every single one of our judges picked actually our favorite. Yamsi as the own design of the Elder Dragon from League of Legends. We were highly impressed by the detail of her armor, the absolutely amazing textures and the mind-blowing paint job. And especially creating her own character is really amazing and also bringing an existing character and a human form to life. We're absolutely blown away. Great job. So the second judges prize is from a game that I absolutely love. The person did amazing job with the cosplay, especially to doing her armor very clean. And maybe you can already feel it. It's Zumi cosplay with her Lux.
favorites. So I choose this person because she really looks like the original designs of the characters. She really gives me of the vibe of the character the moment she stepped inside the judging room. And I also love her dress, love her wigs, love all the detail, everything is so clean. So please, biggest applause for Wen from Cos uh, League of Legends. We just wanted to be part of the show. Oh, okay, then we keep on going. I mean, it was it was your favorite, so if it's a judge's favorite, we don't want to be here. It's your oh, spotlight, okay. but now it's time for us to be here as well. Okay, okay. Well, the next award goes actually to Best Prop. And here we were incredibly impressed by something which we never saw before. The Best Prop actually includes sculpting, 3D printing, lights, and even animatronics. And the Best Prop Award goes to Star with her Ligiana armor and her super cute Azure Rathalos prop. A huge round of applause. You know what they say, it's, uh, it's not about size, it's about the technique and how much smoke you can make with it. I mean, now we're getting to the, well, every single category is interesting, Kamui's pointed out several times. I mean, look at how amazing all the contestants are here today. It's super hard to decide anything, so I'm glad we're not in this side of the stage, we're in the middle. We're happy to help you here. Thank, Thank you. you. We really needed it. Here. Yes. <laughs> but I think we're good to let you go on to the next yeah. aspect. Yes. So as the burden of announcing the next category is on me. Um, yes. So the next category is IIL cosplay, in real life cosplay. That means this person doesn't matter really ma I mean of course it's matter about the craftsmanship but this is the person who the moment they step on the stage and you'll be like that is the person that is the character it's like they really step out from the game or yeah from the anime so yes I mean you can see from here they, they all look like characters to be honest but the most impressive one I believe would be Ryu S. Sephiroth from Final Fantasy. Congratulations, Ryu! Look at, look at them, really. <laughs> this is the stage. stage. And a big round of applause for Ryu! No, this is Sephiroth, not Ryu anymore. <laughs> Wait, this is Sephiroth, sorry. I gotta say, it's, it's the hair for me. Congratulations. 
Sephiroth didn't smile that much in the remakes, I believe. That was pretty cool. So we gotta oh, well. take away the prize now because, you know, the acting didn't work. The prize already out! Too bad! <laughs> We're coming to craftsmanship, right? It's gonna be the big three. The big uh -huh. three. The final three. Are you guys excited? Woo! I feel like I, I have to announce so many names now, so yeah. Yeah, it's me again. Uh, so, third place for best craftsmanship. I, I don't think I have to say much anyway. It's about craftsmanship. So, biggest applause for uh, Tool Creative as Alloy. Yes, it's you! Welcome to Tool Creative as Alloy from the Paint of Isaac Leon and Expansion. We also have to add here. Please take a bow in the middle. We also have to add here that this is actually a beginner cosplay. Like one, like your first costume, right? Your first self-made costume, which is absolutely amazing. This is your first? Yes, this is my first cosplay. Amazing! A huge round of applause for Tua Creative Super Mario. If you step over there, you will be receiving your diploma. First cosplay. Okay. Quite impressive, right? Yeah. Quite impressive. Quite impressive. So it's on me to say something as well. So the person who deserves second place amazed us with his amazing craftsmanship and totally spot on costume. And we were we were totally blown away. Are you ready for second place? Second place goes to Lombax Cosplay with his with his follow heavy rider costume. And the winner he is. Congratulations to Lombax Cosplay taking the second place here at Vienna Hanover's best draft category. This is super scary. Even in like the daylight, you're a cosplay stage. You're like, oh man. I also have to add here, like the spider of the costume. Turn around, turn around. Like the spider of the costume looks like it was just thrown together and looks like a completely chaos. Like he looked like he was jumping straight out of the game. Like this costume is so absolutely accurate. It's amazing. I absolutely love the skull as well. Yeah. It's a nice little detail. He's like, yeah, skulls. You like skulls, obviously. <laughs> Thank you so much. Well, I think now it's my job to actually to announce the first place. And the first place was actually really, really hard to find because the first place for the craftsmanship, best craftsmanship, has to have everything. Like a wide range of materials, like great craftsmanship, obviously, a lot of different techniques. And the person we chose, like, this person actually used letter crafting, like 3D printing, like even using gold leaf and like sculpting and modeling and like just so many different techniques. I just had an absolutely amazing hour. So the first place of DreamHack. Are you excited? Woo! Are you ready? The first place of DreamHack goes to Four Honor Props in his absolutely amazing Ivory from Assassin's Creed Valhalla! Four honor props, ladies and gentlemen. The winner of the Green Eye Panel with Best Pass Competition here, Championship 2022. Please take a big bow to the audience. Four honor The prize, the Four Honor Cosplay, will be taking home today is 1,500 euros. And as such, if you want to meet all our amazing winners, they'll be hanging out in the cosplay area later. Can we go to the group on the street? Are we all also together? Yes, we can. Yes, please. You do not need to bring your diploma. It's actually broken. It's a few seconds you have. Because we get everybody on the winners, 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 the winners,
Only the winner is the one who Oh, only the one The winner is the one with the W. You are the winner. You can join the stage. You can win up there. Today we celebrate the first group here at DreamHack Hanover for the first DreamHack Hanover Cosplay Championship. Our big round of applause for all our wonderful contestants, all our winners here, our judges, and also you, the audience, for being here today. And now we can bring in everybody in the stage. Everyone. everyone who fits into the picture, just go join the biggest and best. If you want to get a group picture of all the wonderful cosplayers, now is the time before we have them return to the real world where it's absolutely not minus 11 degrees outside. Totally not. I bet through this show you haven't even thought about the weather. I completely forgot and I'm scared to go outside. Thank it's you for amazing. This, our DreamHack Hanover Cosplay Championship 2022 group is now over. Thank you all for coming.